Chris. Helen Charlevoix. We're in the middle. It's so interesting. We're in the middle of talking about nutrition, specifically uh, when we're talking about proteins and how they play a role in your life at all stages, youth, middle uh, years. It's for and then, building muscle. Yeah, that's what it does. And, you know, this is a science that people have been paying attention to for quite a while now. Yes. And it's, but it's, I feel like the average person is starting to really pay attention to these, the proteins, the starch and vegetable, and how those play a role together. It's because we have a lot more research about food. Years ago we didn't, now we're doing a lot of research. So the recent research that we're looking at are the recommended dietary allowances for okay. protein. Right now, an average person, I'm not talking elderly because they muscle weigh so they need more protein. Kids are building, they need more protein. And you know, the big athletes, and I'm talking Olympic weightlifters. Someone who burns, what, 1,600 calories in their crazy workouts, Olympic athlete, every single day yeah, at They least. may need more protein, right. may need more protein, but the research right now is telling us that we may, may need more than with a dietary allowance. So right okay. now it's 0.8 grams per kilogram body weight. Okay. So for you, it'd be I'm around, about... I think I'm uh, around 80 kilograms. Okay, so it'd be about... 64 grams, which is not a lot of protein. That's nothing. Okay, and we're going to go through with these proteins. The new recommendations, no, the new research, not mm -hmm. recommendations yet, are telling us that we need 20 to 30 grams per meal. Okay. We do not absorb more than 30 grams. So all the power builders. So it's a waste beyond that. That's right. You're just peeing out in, in nitrogen. Wow. So it's being hard on the kidneys. But we don't distribute it well. The average breakfast is 5 grams of protein, the average lunch is 15, and the average supper is 60. So now we need to reevaluate how we do this. So you might want to think about moving that 8 16 ounce steak down to 8 ounces? Uh, and, no, and not even. even. 3.5 is 30 grams. So wow. for breakfast, let's say, these are all breakfast items here. One baby bell is 5 grams. So people on average are having 5 grams of protein at breakfast. That's it. We need to bring that up to 20 to 30 is what we're cautioning right now. Wow, okay. Okay, so this little Greek yogurt is 8. I wrote it right on top here. Mm -hmm. This one is 6. These things, you know what, half a cup of cottage cheese, 15 grams. Really? And you can get some really good Greek yogurts. This I like cottage cheese. Small. I'm one of the few, I think. Oh, a lot of people, people, people I like, like it. it a lot. But for 110 calories, you get a good bang for the buck. Okay. Peanut butter, everybody says, great for cottage cheese. This is natural, that's why it's running. Three grams. Hummus, one tablespoon, one gram. One. Oh. One gram okay. of protein. Good to 200 tell. calories. These are one quarter cup of nuts. 200 calories, eight grams. Let me, yeah, so Not there's your breakfast. Thing. And let me ask you this. Does protein have a use if you aren't going to work out? Like, do you? Oh, yes. You've got to get up. You've got to stand here. You've got to. Right. All your muscles okay. are functioning. Your eyelids, everything. Mm -hmm. We need protein on a regular basis. So now I'm telling the viewers to look for 20 to 30 grams per meal. Okay. Gotcha. These are lunch items. Oh, here's some power bars here. Here's 20 mm -hmm. grams of protein. Really? Zero in those, though. Yeah, I know. But this is glorified these are like chocolate. chocolate. These are chocolate bars. And these are <laughs> chocolate bars. Yeah. And so I really caution people, like uh, my patients, I say, ah, chocolate bars, these, it just brings about that whole peanut butter chocolate thing. Okay. This is hemp hearts, high in protein, but 170 calories. So you're going to get 10 grams of protein. Wow. This is new dehydrated peanut butter, PB2, two tablespoons, 45 calories, five grams of protein. And how much in a single tablespoon before? With 100, a regular? 100, 45, and two. Ah. And you're getting five grams of protein, you're getting three. So, so that's the thing. Too. Yeah. yeah, it's okay, just perfect. dehydrated. They've taken out the oil. Perfect. What about beans? beans? Beans are great. Beans are seven I grams. And I've got chickpeas here. Half a cup. Half a cup of this is seven grams. Mm -hmm. Half a cup of this is 10 grams. So they're even better. I'm a huge fan of tuna and, and fish. So let's say you're going to make a tuna fish sandwich. Mm -hmm. If you take whole grain bread, two slices are eight grams of protein. You've got to count. Really? Not high in protein. Mm. But white bread doesn't, right? You have to have the grains. And then here I just put half a can. Okay. So half of this can is 15, and this is crab meat at 8. Yeah. Because it's not as dense in the can. Gotcha. Now, Let, so lunch, we're doing fairly, we're doing better at lunch. Right. We're closer to the mark, and we're way over the mark at dinner. Way over the mark. This is how much you should have. This is about 30 grams. So I caution smaller people that are not elderly and not building muscle and not mm -hmm. kids need about 20, 25, and the bigger people, 30. So this is 30 grams of tofu. Yeah. 30 grams protein. So uh, this is tofu, and okay. it's just under a cup. This is 3.5 grams of meat is 30 grams. Wow. So this is turkey, and that's your steak. So that big steak, save it for tomorrow morning, have it for breakfast because you're not having enough. And so the amount of, pro of meat that you have is 10 times the amount of protein in it. So I have three grams, like 3.5 grams is 30 grams. Yeah. So it's so almost it's 10 like, times. Like pump? Oh, not sauce. you. That's six. Me, it's three. That's six grams. Half of that. How can that be? How but can look, that be? This is all we need. 
So, but you got to have more at breakfast. Yeah. You'll feel better too. And it, it carries through the day. And when you yes. and you take care of your muscles, that ups your metabolism, right? That's right. That's right. So Think you're building it. muscle, you're getting in shape, and you're aging with vitality and energy. You want to know how uh, these Eating stars like do it, and they look so good for so long, and how Helen looks so good? It's because you're eating right, right? Oh, well, thank you. Yes, yeah. that's right. HCNutrition.com for more information on that. Uh, tons of cool tips that we didn't even get to here. Uh, thank you so much for coming thank in you, and Jeff. teaching us something here today. Uh, something that uh, really has opened breakfast. my eyes, especially about breakfast and dinner. Lunch, I'm okay. Dinner, I'm way overloaded. Oh, yeah. Most people are. All right. Thank you.